All right, I am just going to critique a little bit of Schoology, and I'm just going to show a very simple task that I think should happen really rapidly, and I want to show you how long it takes me in Schoology. So I just made an audio recording in Schoology, which is a really cool function in Schoology that I can record for a PDF because I have some students that like to listen as they read along, and I also it's adaptation for students with special needs. So I want to copy that. This is in my second hour. I want to copy it to my sixth, seventh, and third hours. So I have to go here and I go, oh, I really want to copy it. Copy to course. So, all right, hey, great. Now I want to copy it to my sixth, my seventh, and I want to copy it. This is my third hour. Oh, now I need to put it in a folder. So you'd think you would put it the, the same folder that I'm in now in my second hour right away, but hold it. No, I have to go find the right folder. Um, and okay, so it should be at the bottom. No, that's November. So now I have to go back and I have to find today's date. Which December 8th uh, or 9th. So I have to put it right here. So I got to put it in that folder. Then I have to go here and I have to find it. And it, it, is it going to be in the same spot? I mean, I, I where's December 8th again? Um, I'm struggling to even really find it. Uh, I know that folder is there. Oh, it's up here. December 8th, 9th. There we go. I got it in the right folder there. Then I need to go here and... Where the heck is it? It would just be more intuitive if this program would just say, hey, it's in this folder. I'm starting in this folder. I need to go to that folder. Or just put it at the bottom. You know, one or the other, but not just mis mismatching it. Put them in the order that they come. The exact same folders, the exact same classes. I have to do this. And this is just simply a recording. And I hit copy. And it'll hit loading. And it's good. Now, if I have an assignment attached to it with a due date, I have to go and adjust the due date for each one of those. If I have attached a OneDrive document or a Google document to it, I have to then go into each hour and reattach that document because it doesn't want to copy all the, it should copy everything that's in the original to the next one. It just doesn't make sense. And maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I don't understand Schoology enough and maybe I haven't been trained, but this is just not intuitive. If it's not going to copyright and it's not going to copyright, please tell me like, because I've used, I used to copy assignments with OneDrive attached. I made it my second hour, I made the whole class with, I mean, you look at all the different assignments that you have in here that you have to copy over. Now you can copy the whole class, but then when you get to an assignment like this summarize where I want these students to write, I have to put in the due date and the point value in each class. So I have advanced settings and go and do that. You know, instead of once, I have to now do it four times. And it's time consuming. And it's time consuming enough to take your curriculum that you were used to teaching face to face and put it online. I get that. I need to learn that. It's a learning curve. I've been doing it since March. But when the programs are not intuitive and they uh, really just stress you out uh, and, and you know, make it like I got to search for it. It's in different places and different classes and everything. Uh, and there's no rhyme or reason for it. I must be missing something. Maybe Schoology. That's why I'm making the video and I'm going to put it online and I'm going to tag Schoology. I, I last it, 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 and then maybe I could make it show how doing a whole class and some people say, you know, you can save it to resources, but you still have to then copy it to one class at a time. You can't, it's just a name unless there's a way to link all the classes, but I don't want all the students data together. And I want to have the different students conversations in different spots. And I want to be able to separate my classes for grading and other purposes. I, it, it, it just doesn't seem intuitive and somebody needs to maybe create a teacher consultant work group or pay teachers to come and work with your stuff and give you feedback. Okay. Don't make me an ambassador because I know how to do these things because I, I can figure, make it intuitive. We call all this technology smart, but it seems like it's making more work for me. Um, and I have enough. And most teachers, and I, I shouldn't be talking about me because it's really not about me. This is a complaint. I, you know, I, I'm one of the tech people that does these things in the building. I hear everybody say, I don't have the time and I want to get better and I want to be better and I want to be the best for my kids. And I need a program that works better. So school, you know, make it better, please. Thank you.